Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message. This is the peace dealer. Do you know what time it is? Tap your neighbor to your side and say, do you know what time it is? Yes, the imaginary neighbors you have too. Don't front. Peace dealer, I don't have net. Yes, you do. You were just talking to that imaginary friend right before you acting like those are your thoughts right before I came on. Now you acting like I don't have anyone next. to No, we just came out of moon and Pisces, y'all. Okay. The revolution will not be televised. I didn't even want to say not televised. I just wanted to say the revolution. But the revolution has been here. Literally, Australia, Australia, dog, Australia for the past year has dead ass been like, guys, they're doing it. They're doing it. You need to listen to us, guys. We're living it. And like everyone in the world said, no way, that's crazy. And went on, you fake motherfuckers. You fake ass motherfuckers. Niggas is getting forcefully immunized in Australia right now. They are crying. Nigga, they are protesting everywhere. I seen this shit and I was like, it's over. It's over. Watch niggas just not give a fuck or act like it. Bro, do you know Australia is ground zero? Yo, son, do you know Australia is ground zero? Do you know what they did to the Aborigines? Hold on. Do you know Australia? I'm, I'm, this video is not about Australia. This video is not about Australia. But, like, I need to give you context. Because, like, it's happening. Australia is protesting, y'all. It's, it's not even just Australia. And, like, they're like, yo, yo. They're crying out to the rest of the world. And the rest of the world is just like, no way. That's crazy, Australia. That's no way. Anyway, yo, Ukraine, you about to you about to let Russia invade you or not? Are you ready? Mars is about to go over the south node. So a lot of you have to understand that when this shit hits, it's going to hit so fast that by the time you get reported about it, you're not going to have any time to adapt because you're still aligning yourself to false old world structures the most cliche shit I'm about to tell you but I'm not going to be vague and say many of you you may or may not have been caught in validating your reality externally don't worry we've all been brainwashed to do this and you must do it internally even if you have an external locus of control you're having to switch internally God forbid you actually believe in yourself because the sun is in Sagittarius, 22 degrees in the third decade. It's passion, baby. We just we just cleared um, this first quarter square. And so we're integrating. We're integrating the individualization of God power, really. Sparked, literally sparked Aries moon through an ascended perspective. And here's the ascended perspective. You're a fucking badass. I don't care how young you are. Get this through your skull. You're a fucking badass. You can do literally anything. But like literally anything. Like when Jesus said, hey, y'all niggas could actually do way better miracles than me. You go and do way better miracles. By acts, Paul was walking around and his shadow was healing people. Do you know the only re do you know the only reason? Do you know the only reason that you don't manifest what you want is because you don't want to manifest that. There's no way that you will actually want to manifest something and you don't manifest. You don't even have to be a manifest. And that's some shit that I've always heard and I never resonated with. Unlike today with the moon on Chiron, this is sparking the heart of your soul through your identity the first stage post first quarter square to this is moon in aries then we have moon in taurus and then we have moon in gemini 
you do I hope you know the moon in Gemini is gonna be the best full moon of all time revelation it's gonna be the first chapter of revelations alternatively it's also going to be the first chapter of revelations let's go quote me on that okay I am heavily biased honestly if you were a Libra or Aries you could say that the full moon in Libra is the best one you bugging though you fucking bugging though if you believe that it's the new one it's the new one in Gemini Sagittarius you see what I mean you know Pisces you understand you understand you were not fucking with that new moon in Virgo or that full moon in Virgo. You weren't fucking with that. But you going to fuck with the full moon and you're going to feel so understood, Pisces. You're going to feel so understood. Virgo, you're going to be hating. You're going to be hating. But we love you, Virgo. We love you, Virgo. We love you. Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, we love you. You be hating on us, but we love, we love you. We love you sometimes. So here, this is the deal. This is about to open up your perception like never before because never in life again will we ever have Mars crossing over the south node while the moon is literally in Gemini square Neptune. So like all the possibilities that you never thought possible, well look at that bitch being possible. That bitch has the audacity to be possible right now. You are supposed to be impossible. You getting my hopes up. Let me say that again. You're literally on an integration cycle that's just going to have you really look at Lady Luck or just like the impossible. You had the audacity to be possible. I already made 50,000 ways in how you would never happen. You had the audacity to just happen in front of my face. You had the audacity to just happen and just confirm that my brain is a miracle and anything I set out to achieve, I will. The war for your soul is to put you and your consciousness into a box to where you forget not only who you are and how you operate, but you lose your sense of autonomy. And as such, you depend on external validation, which you don't want to go the other side and just, you know, forget the external. But please understand with credentials, and with so much data analyzed, there's research institutions that have been stacked up for years that with paid actors, I'm sorry, with experts and professionals who get paid, um, they have basically forced and dumbed down society to believe that we need their external validation. Experts are experts. So it's not like they don't know what they know, don't know, even though I'll tell you they don't know shit because as much as they've been researching, as much as scientists have been researching about biology, physics, astrophysics, them niggas still can't read a natal chart, which is so basic. So I question, what the fuck do you even know? What the fuck do you even know? You theoretical assholes. But I'm sorry. Let me not. Let me not. That's so uncouth of me. That was so uncouth. Of me. I didn't need to say that. But like you, this is these are the people you're giving external validation to meanwhile you're a fucking badass and like no one will ever understand you pisces give up pisces pisces give up you extra magical motherfuckers why can't i be understood you bitches are not even from here shut up pisces shut up. i can't stand you niggas i cannot stand you pisces y'all have the nerve to just be so magical you be having everyone believe in magic no one understands me. Everything I want just materializes. Why am I so... Why am I so... Shut up, Pisces. Shut the fuck up, Pisces. Go find a Virgo and just talk it out. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Pisces. I love you, though. I fucking love you, though. You fucking super magical. Whatever. I hate you. I hate you. I hate... Do you know how much we struggle in out here? Yeah, you're karmic and you take everyone's karma. But Virgo has it so much worse. Why doesn't anyone under You have to everyone. You have to be okay with not being understood. You're super magical. Every one of you has a 12th house. Every one of you has an ancestry. Every one of you has your own unique self. And like you you know that better than me. I didn't have to tell you. But like the moon in Aries is having you understand the identity of your ascended self. And it's not a word. Full moon in Gemini will be like, I am this. But I am. You are understanding the true identity in nature of your higher self. Oh my God. Uh, it's retarded. It's actually literally retarded. 
because your brain is not capable of processing the higher faculties and phenomena. Sagittarius, I'm not talking about you. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, shut up. I'm not talking about you. Super magical, super, shut up. I'm talking about everyone else. So y'all want to have your cake and eat it too. Y'all want to act like y'all human. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, you gods. Shut up. Shut up. Anyway, yeah. Every single one else, you know, our brains are not going to be able to... I'm not playing with y'all anymore. I'm not fucking playing with y'all anymore. I'm not fucking playing with y'all anymore. Because y'all want to be... I'm not fucking playing with y'all. I'm not fucking playing with y'all. Okay? You feel me? You feel me? Shout out to y'all, though. Y'all are killing it. Shout out to Starboy. The weekend is killing it. He's a Marvel imprint. So, yes. You're not going to be able to process the magnanimity of this aspect of yourself that is new to you. You can't feel it. You can't really, sorry, you can't see it. You can't touch it. You really can't even feel it. You must become it. By the time the moon goes into Taurus, it'll be very real. And you will actually have an intellectual understanding moon in Gemini during the full moon. And so thank you so much for your patience with me. I know I should have uploaded this earlier. But you need to congratulate yourselves. You're on the verge of making this integration so real. So tune in, very importantly, to who, not who you think you are, but to who you are. Understand how you respond to life authentically. And just remember, you're fucking badass. You're a fucking bad. Listen to me. You are a fucking badass. Do you know the shit you do on a daily basis and then act like that shit wasn't a big deal? Stop. 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 Fucking stop. I know you're getting psychically attacked off the ass because you're stepping into your power. And people don't like that. Because you remind them of how powerful they are and they want to make excuses. And so it's just better to bring you down. And if you don't clap these mother, you better stop being on this false light stuff and be like, I just want to have compassion. If you don't clap these motherfuckers and put them in their place, you're not going to let, listen, you're not going to, this is Aries energy. This is not Chiron and Pisces. It's like surrender. This is Chiron and Aries. Like put up the Dukes. No, 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 no. Put up the Dukes. I love you. We're going to fight this out. Listen, you're not going to let people openly psychically attack you. You're not going to let people demean you and let that you're not you are not this is not it's not a moral high ground you're letting people like sm like step on you you're a fucking badass you don't need permit and i don't want to patronize you you know that you don't need permission but you don't fucking need permission and you just want to really keep that in mind because at this stage where you're all heart because the moon is fifth house to Sagittarius, you're creating, you're creating this ascended self and you can't inhibit yourself. That square to Pluto is going to really bring up fears about how you're going to feel crazy as fuck. You should feel crazy as fuck because you're tapping into a higher level of your heart. And congratulations, you're fucking amazing. So keep that in mind. You're a badass. I don't want to be friendly. I need to curse. You're a fucking badass, motherfucker. Are you fucking serious? Go out there and make today. I was going to say you're a bitch, but go out there and make today everything you want it to be. This is your pep talk. This is your magical moon message because these motherfuckers are out here trying to pimp your soul. These motherfuckers are you know who. Anyone, anyone who is collecting, who is collectively enforcing this false narrative or being a puppet to do so. Any message that basically takes away your internal validation, no matter how crazy it sounds, because you're a fucking badass, and makes you, you know, depend on external validation and has to use fallacies by bringing up extreme examples that don't apply to you because. People don't even want to listen to you. They want to put you in their box. Burn that fucking box. Embrace the cringe and live outside of the bounds of what people call normal. And I'll see you at Capricorn season, baby. Peace.